So a couple of things I wanted to mention because there's the one video I did earlier today that has like a hundred comments. I can't get to all the comments. I'm sorry. And I see some people asking, what's the actual case number for the uh, Supreme Court back in the late 1800s? Just look it up online. When I see somebody type that over and over again, it's like all you have to do is go in your search engine and put in Supreme Court on constitutional income tax. You can get the case number yourself. But then below that, I see somebody say, and see, I'm always on alert because I think everybody at this point that's awake knows how you have your establishment types that are in social media that want to do whatever they can at any angle to discredit somebody. And um, I'm just doing my research like other people and sharing it, okay? I'm not trying to say I'm an insider and I'm in the know. I'm just trying to logically and research and put some things together, okay? And then I share them. But there's people in the comment section, first of all, I can't get to all the comments, but that um, also on my video, not the short one I just put up prior to this one, but the one before that where I, I talked about Weiss and associate, uh, Associates, about how um, it is unconstitutional and uh, the ROE, the revocation of election, uh, to remove yourself from the tax system. I immediately had somebody up, uh, type, um, well, you didn't check reviews if you just want to hand money. to. And so, see, that's, that's a red flag to me, and I'm sorry if that's not true, but um, it just strikes me as odd. First of all, you, you had that much time to go and check reviews for Weiss and Associates, or go and check somebody else then. I said there's other people you can look into. But Weiss and Associates, they have this all on their website. They have a bunch of videos on YouTube. I mean, it seems pretty legit to me, okay? And they, they state the statutes. So to me, somebody saying that, and I could be wrong, but this is my opinion, it's somebody that is just trying to discredit somebody that maybe is saying the truth, but the establishment doesn't want you to know it. Just my opinion. So I'm just throwing that out there. So, um, But I can't, when there's 100 comments on a video, I can't get to all of them. I'm not on TikTok all day. <laughs> Even though sometimes I put up three videos a day, it, I'm... It, they're usually back-to-back -back many times. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is that um, people said a couple of years ago that Trump dissolved the corporation, right? I mean, I think a lot of people have heard that. And I, that's always been in the back of my mind because I, I, I tend to believe that's true. So um, then it makes you wonder, well, then why does this continue, right? Maybe the why it continues is because if we voluntarily entered the the income tax debt system, then we have to voluntarily leave it. And so we're so used to somebody coming and telling us what we have to do, right? But the whole, if you think about the last several years, I mean, I know there's a lot of people that were woke up long before many of us were, but for the most of us, it came in the last several years, right? And so you realize that um, what's been the number one uh, learning that uh, one thing the, the biggest thing you've learned in the last few years it's that no nobody's going to tell you okay like you, it means you're going to have to find the way and so I believe that Trump probably did dissolve the corporation and the reason which just seems like there's just all this like we're holding on period like this there, there's just this kind of um this waiting period, right? But maybe it's because it's we have we have to leave the swamp. We we entered we voluntarily entered the income tax system, so we have to voluntarily leave it. And you may say, well, we, somebody should tell us that. No, I I think the past few years have been all about no. You have to figure it out yourself because if you don't, then you will just always you'll go back to continuing to rely on somebody else to tell you. Like, you know, some official. And really, what's the biggest thing we should have learned We sh learned besides the fact that we have to do our own research and do our own thinking is that um, you certainly shouldn't trust anybody from the swamp. So this is this is one where it's like for you to know, it, it uh, the Holy Spirit's got to get you there and take you there. You got to trust the Holy Spirit. And, and it's like Trump keeps encouraging people, but maybe Trump's already done his part. And he's dissolved the corporation. 
but he can't tell us, okay, come on. You may think he can, but that would defeat the purpose because that would just send people back to, oh, we don't have to research or think for ourselves. We can just listen to Trump or whoever he says we should listen to, right? That would send us right back into the mess we were in because we always just blindly believed whatever somebody was telling us. So maybe the key to it is that, no, you, if you're waiting for somebody to tell you, no, maybe the key is Trump has already done his part. He's dissolved the corporation, but we, we're, we're still hanging out in the swamp. We voluntarily entered it, so it only makes sense that we voluntarily have to leave it. The, the, the income tax debt system. Um, in Revelations, um, it talks about how God says, my children come out of her. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. God saying, my children come out of Babylon, come out of the swamp in D.C. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's what it reminds me of. Like we have, to, it's already dissolved. It's dissolved around us, but we, we have to, we have to figure out that the key, the key to, uh, Getting out of the mess is that we have to voluntarily leave it so that we can have something different. We're still hanging out. We're still hanging out there. We are. And the swamp will keep letting us do that. Or there's those corrupt people and those, um, you know, establishment types that want to send you all on, on all these wild goose chases, such as go and get involved at your local level when really it's like that should tell everybody that's not going to do a whole lot. Like, yeah, I'm not saying it's, it's not noble, but it, what, what, how do they keep us tied to them? How do they keep us chained to the system through the income tax debt system? That's how they do it. So you no know, getting involved at the local level is going to get you to that, but it will keep you busy from uh, doing research. I'll tell you that. Um, when really the key is, is that the corporation's been dissolved, but since we entered the income tax debt system willingly, just because we thought that's what everybody did, we have to willingly leave it. So I know I'll get tons of people that may uh, make nasty comments or whatever. That's fine. I will just write it off to the, your establishment because who wants to stay tied to a debt system? The only people that would possibly want to be tied to a debt system this corrupt and this depraved would be your establishment types.